Today I'd like to answer the question, what is an ultrasound toothbrush and how is it different than a sonic or manual toothbrush? About two years ago, the Megasonic's ultrasound toothbrush came onto the market. Unlike any other toothbrush in the market today, Megasonic's claims for the use of ultrasound, not abrasion. Most of us clean our teeth the same way our grandparents did. The removal of bacteria is through scraping the teeth, whether through a manual toothbrush or an electric sonic toothbrush, which cleans the teeth through vibration. Unfortunately, those toothbrushes are only as good as the person who uses them, meaning if you get all of the teeth and touch all of the surfaces, you remove bacteria. Unfortunately, if you don't do that, the parts you don't get, the bacteria remains. What I'd like to do today is give you an explanation of what is ultrasound and how is it different than a sonic toothbrush, and do it in a visual way so that you'll be able to understand something that you cannot hear. As we all think about sound, we have three types of sound. We have subsonic, which humans cannot hear. We have sonic, which is in the range of music and other audible sounds. And then we have ultrasound, which are the higher frequencies. About 20 years ago, the FDA approved the use of ultrasound in a toothbrush at a frequency of 1.6 megahertz or 1.6 million hertz, which is a frequency where the use of ultrasound becomes therapeutic and acts against the bacteria in the mouth. At this frequency, you can actually remove bacteria from the mouth without actually touching the tooth, which helps in many instances where either a person doesn't like the aggressive feel of a toothbrush, has sensitivity, or has other reasons why an abrasive toothbrush cannot be used. What I'd like to do now is give you a little background on what we're going to show in our video today. We'll talk to you about three toothbrushes and how they interact with a portable oscilloscope on the computer and a probe put in a simple glass of water that will detect both the presence of ultrasound and also detect the frequency by which the ultrasound operates at. First, we will show a manual toothbrush and put that in the, in the water and in turn have that show on the oscilloscope. Second, we will show a sonic toothbrush and show how the sonic toothbrush through vibration cleans your teeth. You can hear it, it's audible, easy way to tell a sonic toothbrush. And then in turn how that shows up on the oscilloscope. And lastly, the Megasonic's ultrasound toothbrush, which in turn, when you turn on, in this case we have both vibration and ultrasound, but there is a position on the toothbrush where now you have ultrasound and no vibration at all. And we will show both of these on the oscilloscope. As you can see, I have a portable oscilloscope hooked up to my personal computer. Over here we have a probe put in a simple glass of water that is connected to the oscilloscope and in turn the oscilloscope has two levels of display. The top level will show the ultrasound wave and the bottom level will show the specific frequency that the ultrasound operates at. What I'd like to do is begin with a manual toothbrush. If we take a manual toothbrush and put it in the water you will notice that there is no ultrasound wave and there also is no frequency by which the ultrasound would operate at. Even when we move the manual toothbrush quickly back and forth, there is no change in the oscilloscope. Next, what I'd like to do is show you a typical vibrating or sonic toothbrush. We'll turn it on in the high position, and in the high position you can hear the vibration, and as we put it inside the water, although it is vibrating very fast, you will notice there is no ultrasound wave on the upper scale and also there is no specific ultrasound frequency on the lower scale. Why? Because this is a sonic toothbrush. It scrapes your teeth the same as a manual toothbrush, just does it with electricity and more movements per minute. Now what I'd like to do is show you the difference between these brushes and the Megasonic's ultrasound toothbrush. The Megasonic's ultrasound toothbrush operates on both ultrasound and vibration if you want. If we put the Megasonic's ultrasound toothbrush in the glass of water, even on the high speed, you will notice the moment it is immersed in the water, you'll see the ultrasound frequency on the top band. More importantly, below you'll notice the wave at 1.6 megahertz, which is the frequency that the FDA has approved for use in the mouth with removal of bacteria. And the FDA approved the use of this frequency in an ultrasound toothbrush almost 20 years ago. It's very safe. Actually, the Megasonics is the third generation of an ultrasound toothbrush. What I want to show you now, though, and more important, is the Megasonics has a position where there is no vibration, only ultrasound. 
And this third position on the brush has no vibration at all, but in turn, the moment you put it inside the water, you will notice the ultrasound is working. There's the frequency, and clearly down below, you see the 1.6 megahertz. This is truly an ultrasound toothbrush, and anyone that tells you they're selling you an ultrasound toothbrush should be able to prove this to you on an oscilloscope. Just to be clear, there are many people out there and many companies boasting of an ultrasound toothbrush. There's really only one that is truly ultrasound, and it's the Megasonics. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope it was helpful, and now you truly understand what the meaning of an ultrasound toothbrush is and how to tell the difference. Thank you.